हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अबाउट द मेंटेनेंस फ्री बैटरी एंड टाइप्स ऑफ मेंटेनेंस फ्री बैटरी द टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू मेंटेनेंस फ्री बैटरी and previous classes we have learned about the lead acid batteries right what are the difference between this maintenance free battery and lead acid batteries and applications of this maintenance free battery and different types of batteries and disposals methods we are going to learn in this video so these are the objectives in this lecture we are learn about the maintenance free battery and its types and difference between our previous topic that is lead acid and maintenance free battery and applications in different types of batteries let's see what is this maintenance free battery maintenance free battery means the battery which is completely sealed and works on recombination principle is called maintenance free battery in this type the oxygen produced at the positive plates and recombine with the hydrogen produced on the negative plates oxygen at positive and hydrogen at negative plates so this maintenance free battery and it is defined as the valve regulated lead acid battery which is works on the principle of oxygen recombination oxygen produced at what plate positive plate so it it's works on the principle of oxygen recombination the chemical energy contained in the active material is converted into electrical energy by means of electrochemical oxidation reduction process here oxygen at the positive and hydrogen at negative plates right the water loss is eliminated since the unit is designed to remain permanently sealed once it is filled with acid the battery unit is completely sealed so the acid is absorbed in the special plates and separators then that's why the electrolyte does not leak and it emits extremely low amount of gases they do not need adding of distilled water in lead acid batteries we are adding distilled water because of that there electrolyte is sulfuric acid we have to dilute it that's why we are adding distilled water there here no need to adding of distilling water 
thus eliminates any short of maintenance. These batteries can be installed in any position. Why? Since this battery do not require regular maintenance like periodic uh, reading of water, recording of specific gravity of uh, electrolyte and periodic discharging or charging cycles. That's why these are called maintenance free battery. V R L A means what will regulated lead acid. This is completely sealed. So this is called maintenance free battery. Here what we are observed the main points no need to add any distilled water or uh, no need to record for any specific gravity of electrolyte and periodic discharging and charging cycles we eliminate all this process so it is completely maintenance free and it's also it is very easy to install also the valve regulated lead acid batteries one of many types of maintenance free lead acid batteries this is one type of lead acid battery but it is completely sealed that's why it is called valve regulated lead acid its shortcut vrla the hydrogen and oxygen produced in the cells largely then recombined back into water in this way what happened there is minimum leakage of electrolyte because of this construction this VRLA battery do not require any addition of water to the cells and it do not require any regular addition of water and it do not require regular checking of the electrolyte level they have been called maintenance free MF batteries are sealed lead acid batteries these batteries require very much less electrolyte than our previous conventional lead acid batteries. Hence, almost no maintenance. Uh, VRL batteries are classified as gel batteries, absorbed glass mat batteries. These are the two primary types of our maintenance free batteries. Let's see what is this gel lead batteries or gel lead cell cells. Gel lead cells means it contains acid that has been gel lead by the addition of silica gel. Turning the acid into a solid mass. Here we are adding silica dust or silica gel what is the advantage for this the advantage of these battery is that it is impossible to spill acid even if they are broken also next the next model is AGM 
absorbed glass mat batteries the electrolyte is absorbed into a mat placed in between the plates in between plates there is a mat is placed this mat is made with a very fine fiber boron silicate glass these type of batteries have all the advantages of gelled since all the electrolyte is contained in the glass mat then what happen they cannot spill even if broken and they are non hazardous our fgm absorbed glass mat or absorbent glass mat battery future the fiber glass mesh between the battery plates this fiber glass mesh or mat is plates is placed between the plates what is the purpose for this it serves to contain the electrolyte and separate the plates all the electrolyte is contained in the glass mats so they cannot spill and they cannot broken and these are non hazardous also let's see in previous class we are studied about our lead acid routine conventional lead acid batteries now we are talking about our maintenance free battery let's compare their lead acid batteries positive and negative plates react with the electrolyte during charging process and discharging process there are so many chemical reactions is there the charging energy is consumed for electrolyte decomposition of the water and the positive plates generate oxygen before the negative plates generates hydrogen in our maintenance free battery the main principle of this maintenance free battery is what recombination the charge energy energy is consumed for electrolyte here the positive plates generate oxygen and the negative plates generate hydrogen the recombination of water is takes place here in lead acid batteries the gases are evolved during charging and discharging process and it is escaped out through ventilate plugs which is arranged in our lead acid normal conventional lead acid type batteries here in our maintenance free battery uh, the oxygen has 
evolved at the positive plate during charging and is transported to negative plate thus gets reduced by reaction with the spongy lead suppressing hydrogen gas in our conventional lead acid battery we have to periodically check should be maintained by adding distilled water to our h2so4 that is sulfuric acid we have to check it regularly if its specific gravity is less then have to add our distilled water to this sulfuric acid to dilute that here maintenance free battery they do not need the specific gravity check for this electrolyte or no need to add any water this makes the battery function fully and makes maintenance easy so our lead acid battery it requires regular maintenance our maintenance free battery it is not required any regular maintenance lead acid battery required adding of water and specific gravity to check maintenance free battery do not require any adding of water and specific gravity checks and this lead acid battery does not have any safety valve here our maintenance free battery has a safety valve it requires more quantity of electrolyte this maintenance free battery requires less quantity of electrolyte so what is the electrolyte here in our lead acid h2so4 right it is in liquid form in maintenance free battery the electrolyte is in jelly form it can be operated in any position either horizontal or vertical the gel that's why it is not spilled to outside it is completely sealed and it cannot leak but in here our lead acid batteries it can be operated only in horizontal position only because the electrolyte is in liquid state it may leaks because of it is not sealed and this lead acid batteries emits large amount of gases here maintenance free batteries emits very less amount of gases a separate room is required for our conventional lead acid batteries Uh, no need to go for any separate room for our maintenance free battery it can be used directly in office environment and the lead acid battery is very large in size in require more space the maintenance free battery small in size and requires less space lead acid battery the life is short compared to to maintenance free battery
here sedimentation occurred due to shredding of active material sedimentation is not occurs in our maintenance free battery and the fifth point is sulfation is also exist on the terminals which has to be cleared periodically for perfect contact this problem does not exist in our maintenance free battery and the next lead acid batteries requires a lower charging rate than maintenance free battery maintenance free battery requires a higher charging rate than lead acid battery here simple vent caps are arranged on the cells to let gas escape this vrla batteries have pressure valves that opens only under extreme conditions because of that here the gases are very less so no need to go for any ventilation caps here frequently gases are occurred at the chemical reaction of charging and discharging conditions that's why to escape gases we have to provide this ventilation caps our conventional lead acid battery is approximately half of the life period than that maintenance free battery our maintenance free battery is approximately double that of conventional batteries in which electrolyte flows freely as compared to to maintenance free battery because of that our conventional lead battery uh, lead acid batteries are the electrolyte is diluted sulfur it is liquid state that's why it flows freely in our maintenance free battery the electrolytes are in gel type that's why it cannot flow freely this conventional lead acid batteries generate sulfuric acid mist or gases under the used condition our maintenance free batteries generate no sulfuric acid or nothing under the use condition this conventional lead acid batteries cannot withstand mechanical vibrations this maintenance free batteries withstand mechanical vibrations design to compare this design that this design of this uh, conventional lead acid battery is a much lower ratio of power to floor space than this vrla technology batteries in vrla batteries the design is a much high ratio of power to floor space then large floated type battery system and another point is the lead acid battery use more electrolyte compared to to maintenance free battery
because of that here electrolyte is liquid in state its density is changed after few cycles so we have to dilute it we have to check it regularly it's a specific gravity here maintenance free battery the electrolyte use much less electrolytes than traditional lead acid batteries because of that this gel mats are placed between the plates here electrolyte is of gel based so no need to more quantity conventional lead acid batteries can mounted in vertical position here uh, this lead acid uh, battery is completely sealed it is our wish and uh, it's depend upon our requirement we can place and mount in any position so up to now we are discuss about the definition of maintenance free battery and the comparison of the routine conventional lead acid battery and this valve regulated lead acid batteries this valve regulated lead acid batteries largely re recombine back into water here the positive cell produces oxygen and largely recombine with the hydrogen produced on the negative plate let's see we are having more advantages than the conventional lead acid batteries so let's see what are the applications related to maintenance free batteries by this we are observed that maintenance free batteries have superseded the normal conventional battery which requires replenishment of water in many fields of application Uh, due to this unique feature and advantages the maintenance free battery have extensive applications it is used in various applications uh, such as uh, electrical vehicles uninterrupted power supplies emergency power supply and power generation plants and substations inverters backup for power failures in our houses offices also we are used ups to our computers 
in that we are used this maintenance free battery type computer systems backup sequencers uh, next type of application is emergency equipment lights used in operation theaters in hospitals like that and fire and burglar alarms radios fire shutters stop position controls for machines and elevators communication and telephone equipment cellular phones transceivers electrically operated vehicles picking carts automated transports electric wheelchairs some golf carts race carts mm, floor scrubbers automated transports electric wheelchairs used for the city, senior citizens in uh, railway stations like that electric automobiles tools and engine starters grass sheds hedge trimmers cordless drills screwdrivers electric saw these are used in gardening purposes floor cleaning purpose like floor scrubbers all those are used in household and industry purpose also and industrial equipment and non life critical medical equipment like measuring equipment some types of electric cardio graph it is used in icu for the patients and it sometimes it is used in photography also camera strobes movie lights vcr and vtr in some toys also it is used radio controllers motor drives lights like that and some other portable equipment it is used in railway signaling also solar lanterns and systems marine trolling and equipment like that so many applications are there for our maintenance free batteries military applications aerospace applications submarine applications it has lot of applications these are the applications of maintenance free 
batteries the next topic is about what are the methods of disposing batteries why you have to study this topic because of that batteries contains very hazardous materials like mercury lead cadmium and acids extra it will damage human's health and also pollute the environment if they were not disposed properly that's why we have to include this topic also in our curriculum further before disposing the batteries care must be taken that they will not be accessible to children or pets like that because of that it may cause harmful while playing with them or if they keep in their mouth or swallowing like that it is very dangerous because of that it contains full of acids that's why the improper disposal of battery can cause so many problems like soil contamination and water pollution like that that's why disposing the battery is also very important we have to take care of these things also sometimes it may be blast that's why you have to maintain care with that let's see what are the methods uh, of disposing this battery so these are the methods burying of battery burning of battery storing in metal container never come in contact with your mouth these are the methods first what is this burying of battery it may lead to expose the battery to substance such as ground water which cause it to leak the metals that are released seep into ground water which may into lead water that is consumed by humans either directly or through drinking or bathing like that they don't know about the battery is disposed here but these batteries are silently released the seep into ground water it may lead to expose the battery to substance in the ground water so have to take care of that next thing burning of battery burning battery produces highly toxic vapor this is very dangerous it may cause so many chemical reactions leading to various respiratory illnesses sometimes the people may go to coma or sometimes death also occurs due to this so burning of the battery that toxic vapors is produced right it causes very dangerous illness to human beings or animals it may harm to plants everything it completely destroys our respiratory system so this is very dangerous to 
health that's why I have to keep in mind and storing in metal containers the contacts of a battery comes in contact with other metals then the battery will leak exposing the harmful material from inside the battery due to this metals are touch with each other this thing is happen you have to take care this point also and the last but not least that is never come in contact with your mouth it's a very common thing that more energy can be re released from a battery the contacts are touched against your tongue it leads to serious health problems so keep that from pet animals children's like that these are the some important things not to do with batteries and gives this type of effects worrying it uh, just uh, releases seep into the ground water if anyone drinks that or watches that they may suffer some illness burning it may cause directly affect the respiratory system due to the toxic vapors storing in metal containers also problem because of that this battery having the some metallic contacts of positive and negative plates if it is contact with the another metal the battery will leaks and exposing the harmolink completely very harmful material from inside the battery if we are directly contact with your mouth it is also very dangerous it causes very serious health problems these are the important things do not do with batteries then what are the type of batteries and disposing matter alkalinic batteries that is nickel iron and nickel cadmium these can be tossed directly into the trash and disposed at the designated place it can be placed for recycling at electronic retailer shops next lithium ion batteries this can be tossed directly into the trash it can be placed for recycling at electronic retailer shops and the next model is lead acid batteries it can be placed for recycling at electronic retailer shops rechargeable batteries it can be disposed of at a hazardous waste collection site it can be placed for recycling at electronic retailer shops so what is the summary for this or what is the overview in this we are learn about the maintenance free batteries 
and the types of maintenance free batteries how many types it has it has two types gel batteries and absorbed glass mat batteries in gel batteries silicon gel is used in absorbed glass mat the mat is placed between the plates it is fine fiber borne silicon glasses are used and the next concept we are learned about the difference between maintenance free battery and lead acid battery and the comparisons after comparison what is the conclusion we are getting in our mind this maintenance free battery have extensive application due to its unique feature and advantages that's why we are study the various applications such as electrical vehicles and interrupted power supplies some type of marine applications railway and emergency lightening purpose wheelchair some type of electrical vehicles industry applications like that so many so many types of applications in photographies solar systems lanterns and systems race cars diesel and ic engine starting systems like that it has so many applications after that we are observed what are the things not to do at the type of disposing batteries burying burning storing of metal in metal containers and don't contact with your mouth like that points we are observed then what you have to do different types of battery and its disposing methods also we are studied for this alkaline batteries lithium ion batteries lead acid batteries and rechargeable batteries these are the things we are studied once go through the test book and study the concepts what you are covered and learned in this video thank you and thank you for watching this